Just one hour from Boston, Exeter, New Hampshire, best known by some for Phillips Exeter Academy. But many more say it's the arts, the food, the culture that really put this town on the map. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, I like chocolate girls. It makes me feel so good inside. Step inside and a chocolate beyond the warm cafe, and you can't help but take in the soft aroma of sweetness. I've always been really obsessed with food and people's experiences with food. Anna Grazier wasn't always a chocolate connoisseur. The former full-time photographer melted into it after making a gift for colleagues. So I got a tabletop chocolate grinder and some cocoa beans and I roasted them in my home oven and I made chocolate and it was kind of mind-blowing. In 2020, Grazier opened up this cafe on Front Street to serve up not only her small batch bars, but pastries, cookies, and chocolatey drinks. We want to help people understand all the flavor potential that's possible in chocolate, in fine chocolate, and also we can get creative with different recipes. Ennis chocolate is truly bean to bar, using ethically sourced cacao beans from 10 different countries around the world. Who doesn't love a trip to Belize? <laughs> Via chocolate. There's more flavor in bean to bar or less processed chocolate. Like a fine wine. Her flavors range from sweet to pure. This one, the 100% bar, it just has one ingredient. Cacao. Just cacao. Just now this is for the real chocolate lover. It's for the chocolate purist. She roasts and grinds before letting this velvety mixture turn for five days. The mixture will be poured into a large block, then broken down, melted into a cascade of confection. It's a process you can watch and smell while enjoying cafe treats. So here I sort of feel like I have three pieces. Just a few blocks away, a picture-perfect vision of what happens when artists collaborate under one roof. The community that we have here is made up of five artists, so this is a, yeah, a great spot for people to come and watch artists actually produce the work that they're making. Rose Bryant and her husband Mel opened Art Up Front Street Studios and Gallery in 2017. A place for Mel to work and for Rose, a chance to transition from teacher to ever-evolving student. When our children were small, I started doing private art classes. And from that point, with working with the kids, that is what inspired me the most to actually start doing my own work. This building is so inviting and you come in and this is what you see, this beautiful gallery space. We knew that we wanted to have a small front gallery, and then over time, it has definitely blossomed into something else. A journey from finished product to work in progress. The studios here are open to the public to watch and learn. Anne Marie Kenny draws on Exeter's history of the mill women during the Industrial Revolution to meticulously stitch together her industrial quilts. I salvaged parts starting in the 1990s from the salvage yard and got a lot of New Hampshire industrial materials. There's Shannon Hayes, whose playful illustrations fill the pages of popular children's books. You can find Ray Catrick working in the abstract. As for Rose, who works in the back of the studios, she says the space is much like her canvas. It is colorful, it's abstract, and it has a presence to it. Pretty, and back to Anna Chocolates. They order one ton of raw cacao a year, which translates into 5,000 chocolate bars and hmm. around 3,000 chocolate drinks. They've also got a window uh, where visitors can watch the chocolate making process, and they also say they are happy to answer questions and explain the process while visitors are there. Looked delicious. Hmm. Still ahead, a hidden gem now on the culinary map.